All right, and welcome back to the next episode of Mr. Felstrom's Pre-Calc Cast. Uh, here's, today we're looking at benchmark 4.3, interpreting sine graphs. Uh, it asks us to use the graph below to determine the amplitude, period, and phase shift of the sine function. Uh, keep in mind that it is a sine function, and so, um, and then write the uh, then write the function. We need to know that this is a sine function because uh, cosine and sine are just uh, shifts of each other. So. Um, you know, cosine would start up at the top and come down, where sine starts in the middle, goes up and back down. So um, we need to know if it's a sine or cosine. Uh, he, uh, here's our general equation. So I need to find out what a, b, c, and d are. Um, you may remember from the uh, graph of sine, uh, starts at zero, goes up to one, down to negative one, and uh, back up to two pi. Uh, zero at two pi. That's with uh, with no amplitude. Now, if, if we look at our graph here, it looks like it goes up to six and down to negative two. So that's a total stretch or a total difference of eight. And half of that would be the top half of the sine function, and half of that would be the bottom sine function. So if I divide that by two, I get four. That's going to be my amplitude. Uh, it stretches up, back down, four. The period. Now, if we look here, um, we can see right here, uh, this is two pi, six point two eight, and that is one period. And and we can see it looks like from zero to two pi, it looks like we have one, two cycles of that. So if uh, if we have two cycles of our graph in two pi. Um, and we want one period, just kind of cut two half, uh, two uh, pi in half. Cut that in half, and we get pi. So that is our period. And now notice that, that was our period. And that's uh, two is our b. Um, so we already got our a, and we got our b. I'll put a little note here. B is going to equal two is 4. And all we need to do now is find the horizontal and vertical shifts. Now it appears that um, vertical shift we can find because um, um, if our amplitude is 4 and we moved up uh, to 6, uh, it looks like our amplitude, our vertical shift would be up 2. Okay, so, um, so our amplitude was at 4. Um, and then that point, that maximum point, went up to went up to six. So if it was uh, an amplitude of five, and uh, this would have to go up to this would go up to seven. So there's a difference of two there. So our, our vertical shift was two. Now the horizontal shift. Uh, again, sine kind of starts right in the um, right on the zero, and uh, uh, since I know I go up two for my vertical shift, looks like this point right here I'll use as my horizontal shift. Because sine is periodic, you know, we could do uh, this point here, we could do this one here, we could actually even do uh, this point back here and have it start down and go back up and that would be a, a negative um, uh, A. And But uh, we're gonna make this as simple as we can so we'll uh, uh, go right there and since this 1.57 that's that's pi over 2 looks like um, that's half of that so our horizontal shift would have been half of that or pi over 4 okay so now I got all four pieces so I can put this together so my function f of x is going to equal the amplitude sine b which was 2 I'll put a bracket here and then my phase shift x minus pi over 4. Now we need to make sure and do minus because uh, um, uh, the actual phase shift is, um, to find the phase shift it's what makes the inside the parentheses 0. So we need to do the opposite of there and then plus 2 and there we go. I can graph that on a graphing utility to check and uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.